so let us discuss about brilliant song the prior knowledge you should have while learning about brilliant song is beginner's is unit cell as well as the concepts about reciprocal lattice definition the locus of all k values which are bragg reflected in reciprocal lattice is called a brilliant song the definition may look quite deep but its significance is quite simple significance in a lattice there are many atoms each atom has many electrons in it every electron does not involve in elastic scattering certain electrons satisfy bragg reflection condition the locus of k values that means wave vector values that produce elastic scattering resulting in diffraction is called brillouin zone so we are interested in those electrons the k values of those electrons which will produce bragg reflection to visualize it i have made a powerpoint presentation you see there are many atoms here actually there are four and i have taken one which involves three electrons when x ray falls on this electrons all of them absorbs energy but in different quantities certain electrons which are shown in green absorbs the energy and gives us the gives back the same energy while certain electrons which are shown in red absorbs a par, fraction of the original energy and starts lattice vibration this i have tried to visualize in the following slides you can see the green one which gets the x ray energy and gives back the same x ray with the same wavelength and the green electron goes back to the de excited state while the electrons in the red have energy and this energy helps the electron to oscillate in its mean position and it seems that the lattice is vibrating because the atom seems to shift from the mean position now the only point to remember to do the problem is 2k dot g plus g square equal to 0 which is called bragg's law in reciprocal lattice this topic has immense application it is used to find the condition for bragg reflection in a lattice it is used to find band gap of the bulk material it is used to visualize forbidden energy gap of bulk material and even it can be used to categorize materials as conductors semiconductors insulators according to the position of fermi energy in the material you can do some problems related to brilliant zone thank you